Hello everyone, in this particular lecture, we are going to learn about how to use JSX in your React. Well, JSX stands for JavaScript XML. Now, what is this JavaScript XML? Well, JavaScript XML allow you to write the HTML code with your JavaScript. It means that you are going to have a JavaScript file and inside of this, you can also write your HTML code right so yeah you don't need to create separate pages or the components in your react uh, this could be done with the help of JSX and we will understand it in our visual studio code in a more better way so let's go there so we are inside our visual studio code and you can see here I'm having this app.jsx file here right and main.jsx file also here uh, and now what this particular app is doing it is creating this kind of page where I'm having a, a word or a heading hello and a background right yeah so uh, now if I want that I want to create a JSX file what could I do well your JSX files are created inside the component of the react so inside this SRC create a folder named components components and press enter now inside of this you create a file name let's say let's say greeting always try to put this first letter of your name of the file as capital and then write jsx enter right yeah now uh, one more thing about your react is that you can simply call out the whole component with the help of RAFCE which is a react arrow function export component just press enter and you can see with the name of your file which is greeting a component is created and first the react is imported and then what is happening the const greeting greeting the file name and inside of it I'm having a return so this particular function is returning something and I'm having a div here it means you can now first think that you cannot uh, share a blank folder or anything uh, you need to put something inside the return and that's I'm having a div here now inside the div you can write whatever you want like let's say this is greeting right now if you go to the app.jsx and if you want uh, to use this jsx file as a component simply simply just go here and write the arrow key and greeting this will only recommend if your file name is starting with the capital letter right yeah now just press enter and close it and it is imported now why it is showing me an error well it is showing me an error because i'm having two different two different what two different elements right so for that just put a control plus x everything you need to put inside a single div so if i remove this thing and this thing also and just put this greeting now now if i go to my page you can see the greeting page is called and is working very fine right whatever the thing was written there you can see uh, everything is visible here now inside this jsx file uh, there are few more things which you need to understand is that it is always having a return uh, so this return function or the statement of a functional component contains the main jsx right and a jsx uh, file must have a return in a single element uh, like you can try one element or wrap multiple element inside a single parent by this right so single parent is what your div now inside of this whatever the components or the child components you want to put you can take like h1 or something anything else whatever you want everything is possible here but a single parent a single parent right and you can use the curly braces also like if I say that const name equals to name equals to let's say a uh, Piyush right Piyush now if you uh, just go here and you want to use this name just simply put a curly bracket 
now after putting this curly bracket you can like write your code javascript code also in, in between your what in between your html file or the html component of your com page now you can see i'm having a div inside of this i'm having this h1 and inside this h1 i can simply write the name is good boy right now if i go to my website you can see this is showing me the name that is piyush so i don't need to use the template literals here that we do in the javascript uh, you can simply just put a curly bracket and write whatever the javascript code you want to write right if i want to write 2 plus 3 here so if i go and check you can see i'm having 5 here why because it is showing me the result of it it is basically a javascript inside of the curly bracket you are going to write the javascript and in the javascript you will get the 2 plus 3 as a 5 right so this is how your jsx works now inside the jsx uh, what normally we do normally we just if you want a class we write the class right and but uh, in the jsx file what we write we write class name this is something which we write we put all the classes inside the class name attribute not just class so if this is also needed to understand now one more thing that jsx requires all tag to be properly closed it means you cannot leave it like this like this here you need to close this h1 for that we simply need to write h slash h1 right yeah so this is how it works i hope you understood all the concept of your javascript xml file that is jsx file very clearly uh, i tried to uh, tell you everything in very detail so if you like the video make sure that you hit the like button and the subscribe button we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye